So this is Conan Exiles, a video game based, uh, survival video game based off of uh, the world of Conan the Barbarian. So probably from movies and from uh, uh, the comics and, and stuff. So you can kind of see like this uh, sort of epic world that, that they created. And this is, this is my build right here. This is my little walled city. Uh, we have our, our animal pen out here and we have our wheel of pain where we train our thralls. Uh, I like to call it recruiting. Uh, as opposed to enslaving, like some people. Uh, we have two towers out here. I'm going to put in more towers, but uh, this, is, this is still kind of a work in progress. I need to populate it with thralls, and I need to finish building like some towers and putting some other like, sort of stuff outside to make it look more like a, a real sort of city kind of thing where the city is sprawled out. Uh, there's these little storage areas under the towers here. Uh, we, have an, we have an extra bed and some, some chests in there. And when you go up on top of the towers, we have our uh, archers right here. We have our Farfnir and Lisa the Longbow over there. Uh, as you can see, it's black ice walls and, and stuff towers, but it's, it's sort of mixed materials on the, the whole build here. Uh, this little seating area, we have all seven of the uh, religious altars. Uh, of course, Krom, uh, the Krom religion, uh, if you follow Krom, uh, offers no benefit and does nothing for you, and there is no altar. <laughs> so... The other, the other seven, however, you can get. Uh, it's more like sort of area where people would like hang out, I guess. This is my uh, my vault with all my my legendary stuff in there, legendary weapons and keys to dungeons and whatnot. Uh, this is the crafting hall. As you can see, you have to have an artisan's table for each of the DLCs, which is kind of silly instead of just having it all show up in one. But we've got all the really necessary crafting benches and stuff here toys and stuff you get to play with while you're, you're building all your stuff. Um, let's see. Oh, yes, and across from the crafting hall is, of course, the tavern. Uh, we only have one uh, named dancer. This is uh, Bodan the Flexible. I've, I've named, renamed him Dance Dude Bro. Put him in full armor because just none of the outfits are really less than disconcerting on the men. Sorry. Sorry if there's any ladies watching this. And then we have our, our dancing girls. These are not named dancers. They'll definitely be replaced. But, you know, I, I put something there for a placeholder and to serve the function of ridding you of corruption. Nice little upstairs area in the tavern. <clears throat> uh, and then over here we start into uh, another religious area. Of course, Zath. Uh, the, uh, the first altar was Jabal Sag. And uh, that does sound really bad when you say it out loud. <laughs> That's right. We have this uh, lovely... Over here we have more access to the, the catwalk, give you an idea of the size and scope of the building. A little idea of the size and the scope of the building there. Um, here we have all the houses. There's not all the houses, but some of the houses, some of the like sort of medium... Houses for people. Little beds and stoves in them so I can uh, put other thralls in here to make it look like it's more populated. I really do need to spend some time recruiting uh, fellow fellow citizens from the surrounding areas. I mean, some might call it forcibly, but, you know, I like to call it recruitment. Uh, that's a shrine of Mitra. It does have a named priest on it. I have to upgrade all the shrines. They're all first level shrines. I need to upgrade them to the third level ones. And this is sort of like, you know, all this messy area where like maybe poor people would, would, would hang out and try to stay inside the walls and not get killed because everything outside wants to murder you. Uh, here's our pit of yog for the cannibals. You know, if anybody wants to eat somebody. Not a, not a named priest, but a high priest at least. Uh, here we have a couple of uh, other small houses. Give you an idea of this little, you know, nothing too crazy. There's going to be more more thralls, more people hanging out in here in, in the final build, of course. Uh, but this is a pretty tough area. This is just the uh, southern part of God's Claw Passage. You kind of see it right out there. Great place to get some materials. Uh, over here, this wagon, one of our horses. Another shrine, this one is a uh, sepulchre of Set, which is very, very, you know, well 
known from the uh, the Conan movies, where the the snake guy that was worshipped. Uh, here we have my house because you know I, I built it, so I made my house much nicer and gave it all the shiny metal like drinking horns and fucking fancy glasses and stuff. A little storage under the stairs. This is actually like a, a throne. So you can sit down and uh, observe your wealth. I assume rich people do all the time to sit down and like look around and things and go, damn, I'm rich. Uh, little seating area over here, nice little balcony. These, these ceilings on this, this building DLC are freaking fabulous. This is a really nice building DLC. And we have the beds, some paintings on the walls. And then when we go down, we go across the street, we have, well, not across the street, but down the street about oh, another shrine. This is uh, Altar of Ymir, another high priest. Uh, this is uh, another house. This is clearly a much more well-to-do house. They got that really nice fancy bed. And there's sort of a boarding house kind of thing here. So people would get to come in and, and take a look around and they're all sort of like mishmash of different things. This is how it would look more interesting is that if they were all like uniform the more lived in feel like a more realistic sort of lived in kind of tone to it you know different little furniture pieces and whatnot sort of like they just grabbed whatever they could and threw it in there and then started charging people rent all right and these stairs kind of go right through the wall bummer uh yeah, these training ceilings are really really nice uh, but then this is a little area up here where there's you know, a couple more little areas for people to stay and then like sort of a cookhouse thing, maybe a communal cookhouse sort of dealio. Uh, I think this is our final altar right here is the uh, Pleasure Palace of Durketo. Again, just, just still first tier. Need to upgrade it to third tier. And uh, one, another horse, this wagon, and then uh, one, our, our guard right there, Captain Carl. Yep, Captain Carl, level 20 uh, Sumerian Berserker, very good thrall to have. And then uh, that is our village.